prolonged drought is putting extreme stress on trees, young and old, all across central Indiana. RTV6 reporter Chance Walser has more on the efforts of some to keep trees alive while facing the reality that not every branch will make it. Grass isn't the only thing fighting for survival in these drought conditions. It's been a very tough season for Indianapolis trees, and there are a lot that have succumbed to the conditions. Crew members for Indianapolis-based Ping Tree Service are making their living these days hanging out in the treetops. In this case, a recent storm sent several brittle limbs to the ground. But arborist Mike Webster says these drought conditions might be just as much at fault. Because the moisture and sap is down out of these trees, when we get these strong, heavy winds that come through, they just break off like a, like a dry matchstick. Webster says it's been more than 100 years since Indianapolis trees have been this dry. And his teams have been extremely busy trying to keep up with all this cutting, hauling, and chopping. It sounded like a sonic boom. Across town is one of Ping Tree Service's future customers. This is what is left of Crystal Gilliam's porch and patio furniture after a dry limb broke off from her big backyard oak tree. The tree branch hit the house and then it fell and hit our deck. Mr. Ping came out here and said that uh, these trees are self-preserving by dropping limbs. From oaks more than 100 years old to trees much younger than that. Employees at Keep Indianapolis Beautiful have their hands and buckets full trying to keep thousands of two and three year old trees from meeting this fate. We've lost about 30 trees I would say which it's kind of a little bit upsetting but we're, we're doing the best we can with the ones we've got. Chance Walser, RTV6. And Keep Indianapolis Beautiful has some tips for you to take care of the trees in your yard during this drought. We've posted a link for you on the IndyChannel.com.